Well, hello. Uh, yep, I've got the camera out again and I'm vlogging again. I had to stop, I had to show you this. We're at the bottom of Loch Ness, uh, heading to our last and final destination. No, well, not the last and final. We're heading to our second to last destination before we come home. We're stopping in a, uh, a place, an Airbnb in uh, Fort William. And on the way down this coast, coast, what am I talking about? On the way down the side of the Loch, uh, Loch Ness and there are no monsters. I've not seen any at all. It is absolutely stunning um, You may be seeing this vlog before my Harrison Lewis trip because we're just on our way back from Harrison Lewis And they may take a little bit of editing This could be a very short one of my shortest videos ever, but all I've done is I just wanted to stop Check in with you guys say hello. I was hopefully going to be taking you to a cemetery later on um, with some really old 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 looking graves stunning and i wanted to show you a few pictures we took last time i was there we may, may still do it and this may end up a bit longer than normal Pfft, you know me guys no hat no coat literally just dumped the car in the car park up there in the lay-by because i've spotted some trees down there and they look so good but just come down onto the coast now onto the edge of the water's edge onto the coast what am i talking about it's all those days near the sea onto the water's edge and I like this little section here. There's some beautiful reflections. I've just stopped at the boat up the other side of Fort Augustus. There's an old shipwreck up there and I was taking an image of it and I absolutely love it. It's beautiful. The colors and the texture in that old paintwork and stuff like that is fantastic. So I hope it processes as good as it looks on the camera. A two minute exposure, it looks beautiful. Delicious as I've heard other people say. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna take a few images here. I won't talk you through them. This is gonna be another one of those rushed not rushed but spermatic vlogs uh everything will get back to normal again once we get back home and i start going out for the purpose of vlogging rather than just vlogging our adventure but i'm going to take an image here i just love the shape of these trees i just love all this green foliage and these greens on the rocks so while i'm here snap a few images show you the images and just fill you into what we're doing and where we're going see you in a bit Right, I've just swapped over from the uh, kit lens, the 18 to 55, which is a stunning lens, and I've put the uh, 10 to 22 on, or well, the 10 to 20, is it 10 to 24 even? Um, with me little Fuji kit, don't be throwing your filters on the floor. Um, little screw on filters and the ring adapters, as I will make out, make, well, I've made notes of them when we were in uh, Harrison Lewis and let you know what it is I was doing. So the wide angle's on just so I can pull this out and make these boulders look really big. So let's set up and get a shot. Oh, come around here, you can see what I'm doing then. Here we are. Right, this is the way we do it. Get ourselves, oh, that's a bit better. I can get all three in now. I wasn't quite getting all three boulders in before. I can only get the two in. Um, and she looks pretty good. Polarizers on the front, just to darken down that reflection. Even though I want to be able to see the reflection, I want to darken it down, sort of tone it down. We're going to focus on that third boulder and we've got a two second timer on. It's giving me a, a one second exposure uh, at F8 and ISO 200. So I'm going to take that. Didn't have the two second timer on, should I? That's because I switched the camera off. Let's just have a look. This is all right. I quite like the foliage. I may have to darken the image right down. I'm just going to actually darken it down in camera to see what it looks like. Wrong way. Yeah, I prefer it darker and moodier. Not the best image I've ever taken. And definitely won't be the worst I've ever taken. I am going to try one thing, just to lower the tripod slightly. Just to see if I can get a slightly different perspective on it. Because it's the boulders and the green that I like. That's a bit better. That's, a, that's much better. Right, what I had last time is I had a slight light, a little bit of light on the reflection. And I don't want the light, I just want it dark. 
I want it moody. I don't want it moody even. I just want it soft, sort of wonderland looking. Now I'm going to focus this time on the front rock because I think the front rock is probably more important. And it's lovely and sharp. And again, when I bring those little textures out, it should look pretty nice. Cloaked with the little trees above it with all the little green leaves. New foliage, spring is here. Right, now I'm going down there. I'm gonna go and find these trees. Hopefully they'll still look as good as what they did just now because they were really, really nice. This is real time walking by the way, and I'm getting stuck in the trees. But I think it'll be worth it when I get down there. I might have to go back up onto the road though, because I'm running out of pathway and water is getting me. <laughs> Sorry, I just got attacked by a tree. We might be there, I might be getting through. Oh, <laughs> this, <laughs> this little two second jaunt. <laughs> we've got camera shakes, we've got everything, haven't we? This two second jaunt along this coast, or along this water's edge, should I say, is turning out to be quite a challenge. <laughs> but fun anyway. Right, I think I can get along here now. You guys had a laugh then. Oh, that was a hawthorn and it's got me right in the belly and in the leg. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I've got to go up onto the green. I can't keep along this edge. I'm running out of footpath. Right, I'm going up there onto the green bit. I'll see you in a bit. been so out of breath walking 25 feet in all my life. I've just been got by the brambles then. This is pretty. This is very pretty. Taking off to the lake. So I'm having a photograph of this. I just like it. It's soft, it's green, and it's just sort of foresty, wonderlandy, mystical. Who am I kidding?
the trees I was looking for. So I hope you can hear me. The trees are just there. See them? They're in the water. So let's hope there's enough light still on them to get a shot of them. So come on. Right, I've just had a phone call from uh, Mrs C and she's just told me we've got 23 miles to go yet before we get to our accommodation and we've had no tea. Um, I'm coming back, I'm coming back here. This is beautiful and it wants some morning light or evening light, but next time I'm up in Scotland, I'm coming down to have a look at this. Just look at it behind me. There's rocks and boulders on the shoreline. There's all sorts. I just haven't got the time and the light's gone now to set something up worthy in all fairness i'm just gonna have one last shot um one last shot just of this and the arch and that's it i've got to make my way all the way down the road now about half a mile to catch up with the wife so uh, there's litter as well um if you're listening and you're one of these people that go on these little camping days or trips out in the car and you come and sit on these beautiful beautiful locations please don't leave your shit lying around sorry for my french but I've walked past bottles, bags, packets of crisps, toilet paper, baby wipes, broken glass, beer bottles, beer cans. If I was the person, so I, I don't like picking it up because I don't know where it's been or what it's been touched with. Um, and you don't know where there's any needles or anything in amongst all the piles of rubbish. But if you're one of these people that do come down, just pick it up and take it back with you, will you? There's bins down the road, there's bins up the road, there's bins everywhere. Just take it back, take it home. It's a beautiful piece of country. You come here to watch and listen and learn and to look and to view and to see and to eat your crisp, crisps and your sandwiches. Just take your shit home with you. What a mess, what a mess. Tragic. Right, so that's it. Heading back to the car before I get another phone call and get my ears chewed. Now you all see the nice side of my wife, <laughs> but you don't want to see the bad side. Because <laughs> she will chew you up and spit you out. <laughs> or me, she will anyway. Right, let's get back. Like I was saying about the uh, rubbish. Look at this, look. Rubbish. And yep, I know someone's going to say to me, why don't I pick it up and take it with me? Why? Because my bag is not big enough. How am I going to get up here? How am I going to get up here? Look at this. Here we go. Oh, oh slip on my face. Right, yeah, my bag and my pockets are not big enough to carry the amount of stuff I've seen down here. It really isn't. And look, 
there's a shop, 200 meters, which probably means you can put your rubbish in the shop, in the bins. Right, all I've got to do now is make sure I don't get run over. This is a very fast road. Right, thanks for watching. I know this has been a bit stupid. Oh, maybe not. Maybe you like watching me doing this sort of stuff, jumping out the car, running around, getting the shots. Hopefully I've got a few that look all right. But yeah, the light went off quick, so I know I haven't got the light. But what a beautiful spot. This could be beautiful, even, even beautiful Lurilla, if there's such a word. If you had to mist and a boat or, a, I saw a swan earlier on, but it wasn't close enough for a photo. But yeah, there's my little stream. Just down, oh, look at that, through the camera. Every, see, every time I'm talking to you, look at that. I talk to you and I spot an image. Just, just, I've got to go, I've got to go, I haven't got time, I haven't got time. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, if you feel this video is worth sharing, please share it. It might give someone a laugh, especially me getting caught in the brambles. Watch this branch. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on Harris and Lewis, because you'll probably see this first. And uh, yeah, the light wasn't great, but I hope you come and join me and Denise. We'll love to share our adventures with you. See you all soon. <laughs> Ciao for now. Thank you.